Why is it pronounced brain and not brine? Or locate and not locate? Stick around and find out. Hello everyone, welcome back. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Isabella, and this is the Pop-Tart Language Channel, where we talk about the many ways to learn languages. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some English spelling and pronunciation rules my English teachers never taught me. I picked up these rules along the way by speaking, listening, or figured them out on my own. If this happened to you too, or if you're just starting out on your English learning journey, stick around and I hope this will save you a bit of time and frustration. Please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel if you found this content helpful or enjoyable. Let's jump into it. The seven secret vowel pronunciation rules. I'm calling them secret because they were secret to me until somewhat recently. I'm going to read this to you first and then go over this slide in depth in the following slides. First, a vowel followed by a single consonant at the end of a word is pronounced as a short vowel. Second, a vowel followed by two consonants at the end of a word is pronounced as a short vowel. Third, if a vowel is the final letter in a word, it is pronounced as a long vowel. Fourth, if an E appears at the end of a word, it is silent. The preceding vowel separated from the E by one or more consonants will be pronounced as a long vowel. Fifth, if two vowels appear next to each other in one syllable, the second vowel is silent and the first vowel is pronounced as a long vowel. Sixth, if one consonant follows a vowel in the middle of a word, it is pronounced as the first sound in the next syllable. Seventh, if one consonant follows a vowel in the middle of a word, it is pronounced as the first sound in the next syllable. The CVC rule. A vowel followed by a single consonant at the end of a word is pronounced as a short vowel. Words that conform to this rule are often some of the first that students of English as well as native speakers learn to read. Examples are pup has cup, man has ham. All of these words follow the short vowel plus consonant rule. You might see these words represented in this way. CVC or consonant, vowel, consonant. Let's have a short exercise. I will say a word and leave a pause for you to repeat. If you are at a higher level, please feel free to skip to the next slide. Let's begin. Cat. Mat. Sat. Hat. Rat, bat, can, man, bad, ran, lad, sad, had, fad, tad, bed, Lead, fed, pen, den, men, ten, let, net, wet, pet, get, set, bet, Yet, fit, wit, hit, lit, sit, sin, tin, kin, win. Pin, pit, big, 
jig, pig, rig, cot, pot, got, hot, lot, rod, pod, cod, hod, log, dog, fog, hog, rod, fob, fun, run, sun, pun, rut, gun, hut, nut, shut, cut, mud, tug, rub, tub, grub. Thank you for repeating after me. The consonant vowel consonant consonant rule. It is a vowel followed by two consonants at the end of the word is pronounced as a short vowel. Words that conform to this rule may be single vowels followed by a consonant blend, and below are examples of consonant blends, or those that are followed by two distinct consonants. You may see these types of words represented by CVCC. Examples of the words are stops, want, hand, wish, or bark. Once again, let's have a repeat after me exercise. We will start from top, go down to the bottom, and then go from left to right. I will say the word and then leave a little bit of time for you to repeat after me. If this is too easy, once again, skip to the next slide. Let's get started. Chat. Ramp. Blob. Must. Camp. Drum. Thin. Trip. Grab. Limp. Then. Bent. Free. <laughs> Drag. Glad. Gram. Scam. Lent. Math. Shut. That. Clap. Drop, lint, drip. Thank you. Great job. The CV rule. If a vowel is the final letter in a word, it is pronounced as a long vowel, with the exception of the silent E, of course. A vowel at the end of a word may appear in a single syllable word or a multisyllabic word. Either way, the pronunciation rule remains the same. A final vowel at the end of a word is pronounced as a long vowel. Some examples of single syllable words which follow this rule are go, pi, lo, be, and he. Multisyllable examples include ago and ego. You might see these words represented like CV.
Once again, it's time to practice. We will go down the line first on the left and then on the right. And finally, we will practice the exceptions on the bottom. Let's get started. Fine. Ride. Make. Tube. Use. Poke. Hope. Choke. Huge. Stone. Shave. Flame. Amuse. Awake. The exceptions on the bottom are a little strange because you will say prove instead of prove, <laughs> move instead of move, <laughs> love instead of loathe, <laughs> lose instead of lose, <laughs> come instead of comb, <laughs> and gone instead of gone. <laughs> Therefore, they are the exceptions. The CVVC rule. If two vowels appear next to each other in one syllable, the second vowel is silent and the first vowel is pronounced as a long vowel. We see vowel combinations all the time in English. A general rule as to their pronunciation is to say the first vowel and ignore the second. These vowel combinations come in all kinds of matchups. You might see words which follow this rule represented as CVVC. English ex examples include true, beat, train, leaf, and load. As a side note, when I was learning English, this was one of the hardest things for me to figure out. And as I am speaking now to foreign language learners, this continues to be one of the hardest things for people to learn and to pick up. Let's have another practice exercise starting from the left. Rail. Sail. Wait. Trail. Need. Cheek. Sheep. Wheel. Sheets. Three. P. Read. Leak, neat, cream, beast, dream, mean. There are a few exceptions. Read, but the past tense is read. Deaf meant being the past tense of mean bread dread and thread going back up to the top roast. Coast, moan, throat. Thank you for practicing. Syllable stress within a word. If one consonant follows a vowel in the middle of a word, it is pronounced as the first sound in the next syllable. Where a consonant is pronounced in a word does make a difference in the student's pronunciation, particularly if they speak slowly. 
Think about the difference between paper and paper. Clearly, the second is the correct pronunciation, while the first sounds at best strange and at worst like a different word entirely. Other examples include telephone, not telephone, labor, not labor, locate, not lock eight, <laughs> and protect, not protect. This was fun to pronounce. I'm going to get a little bit personal before these exercises, but I am asked this one question many times. And this question is, what can I do to lose my accent? Or how can I sound more natural? Or what can I do to sound better? And this one exercise or this one tip is it. Syllable stress is very important because if you mispronounce the words or stress the incorrect syllable, not only do you sound strange, it is very clear to uh, a native speaker that you are not, you're not native, you are foreign. Therefore, let's practice these words and let's see if we can stress the correct syllable. First word, manage, manage. Yesterday, yesterday, position, position, product, product, property, property. Engineer, engineer, today, today, complete, complete, statistic, statistic. Understand, understand. Please pause the video or rewind if you need to repeat this exercise. Thank you for practicing. Consonant splitting. When two consonants follow a vowel in the middle of a word, one consonant is pronounced at the end of the first syllable and the other is pronounced at the beginning of the next vowel. Of course, consonant blends act as one consonant sound, but non-blend neighboring consonants will follow this rule. When a consonant is doubled in the middle of a word, it also follows this rule. Some examples include subject, tally, object, topple, and hazmat. This will not have any sort of a repeat after me exercise because it's somewhat self-explanatory. Thank you for watching my video. If it helped you, please leave me a like and consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please leave me a message in the comment section. Thank you very much. I hope to see you again soon.